Hello and welcome to this Dell PowerProtect Data Manager appliance video showcasing how to integrate Active Directory with the PowerProtect Data Manager appliance. The PowerProtect DM5500 is an integrated data protection appliance that offers powerful and secure protection of modern workloads, all designed with the end user in mind with ease of use and one user interface. The DM5500 also has flexible, reliable upgrades, health monitoring, and reporting, and a single license model based on back-end usable capacity from 12 terabytes to 96 terabytes in 12 terabyte increments. One of the prerequisites for integrating Active Directory is to ensure that all AD members have the UID number defined in their corresponding profiles. Now let's see how to integrate Active Directory with the Dell PowerProtect Data Manager appliance. Enter the appliance management IP in your Chrome browser to display the main login screen. We'll log in as the admin and use the password that was set during initial deployment. On the appliance dashboard, to start the AD integration, select administration. Access control, then select the directory settings tab. Here we click on the Add button to display the Add Directory dialog where we enter the server address, domain, and username and password details. We then click Verify to validate the certificates issued by Active Directory. Optionally, you can also expand the Show Advanced Settings option to update additional parameters such as the group search base if there is a preferred group search criteria for the user. And finally, we click Save. We have now successfully integrated our Active Directory server with the PowerProtect Data Manager appliance. The next step is to define the group to role mapping for our AD groups. On the left side of the screen, click Users slash Groups. Click the Add User slash Group button and select the radio button next to the AD group option. From the AD domain list, we select the AD domain name, enter group name of our choosing and click Next. On the role page, we select a role to assign to a particular group, such as administrator, backup administrator, or user. Clicking each role displays its privileges. In this case, we select the administrator role for this group, which we'll call backup administrator. Review the summary page and click Finish. We've now successfully created a group to role mapping for this AD group. The administrator role has access to all assets. Next, we'll assign the user role to a different group, which we'll call Backup User. The user has fewer privileges than the administrator role, as we'll see. Using our AD Administrator credential, let's log in to the appliance and see our asset sources. Here we see a variety of asset types that we can enable. Let's log out and log back in with our AD user credentials. Because the user role on the appliance has limited access, the backup user does not see the option to enable asset sources. Furthermore, clicking disable asset source has no effect. This concludes the Active Directory integration video. To get more information about the PowerProtect DM5500, please check out these links for additional resources such as white papers, videos, and blogs. Thank you.